So I wanted to come and talk about um, VM splice performance. There's a, a feature of QEMU. They're looking to migrate a VM from one QEM process to the other for the purpose of uh, security, uh, doing a security patch and then moving to it the, patch, the patched executable. Um, to do that, they want to be able to quickly move the VM's memory from one, from one process to the other. So we're looking at using VM splice to do that. Um, I have patches, RFC patches out right now that would add page flipping in addition to the existing uh, copy uh, semantics for VM splice. Um, right now, that would be moving or, or flipping 4K pages, um, which is still quite slow with everything we need to, we need to do um, to do that, zap them on the, on the writer side um, and prepare them and, and move them uh, into the, process, into the uh, VMA for the, the, the reader side. Um, now, so, and also in terms of QEM's use case, um, they're using transparent huge pages. Um, the current implementation for VM, VM splice would be fairly narrow. It wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, deal well with um, pages that aren't, uh, memory at regions that aren't 4K aligned, that are, have uh, multiple mappings, that, have, um, that are transparent huge pages. So I'm really looking at bringing transparent huge page support to VM splice, but this uses pipe buffers. So this means looking at into adding transparent huge page support to pipe buffers themselves, um, which would be quite invasive. And so I'm kind of looking at options for that and, and feedback and, and uh, also who might be interested in uh, you know, the other benefits of, of, of making those changes for, for the networking and, and for file. So anybody, anybody who's using that would like to come up and talk to me. Um, and uh, uh, kind of gauge interest in, in that sort of solution. Because um, it would, as I said, it's, it's a kind of a narrow use case, but it's, it's, uh, it, it's quite invasive to get there. But currently, um, 4K splicing is about five gig a second, um, which, which is far too, far too slow. Um, just because the, the splice is gonna occur when the VM is paused. Um, and so the, the idea would be, you know, you want this to be as, tra as transparent as possible. So, um, and I think really there's, there's no, no alternative. Uh, one thing I, I could do is coalesce them on the reader side. So I'd still be creating pipe buffers for 4K pages, but on the, on the reader side, I would take all of those and say, okay, this is a contiguous, this is a THP, uh, it's contiguous. Um, so I'll coalesce all these pipe buffers and I will operate on one transparent huge page. I still don't think that's gonna be performant enough. So I, I think really transparent huge page support and pipe buffers is, is kind of the, the way to go. But questions, comments, ideas? No. Okay. Well, that was, I guess that went, ran short, but. <laughs> of what? Yeah, it, it will definitely, I was starting to map out where, where this impacts. And I mean, to start off with, you know, a lot of the current users could go and, and just break, you know, receive that pipe buffer and, and then break the, break the page and, and operate on, on 4K pages as a kind of starting point. So I, I think that it's, the work is scalable itself, but it, there, yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a, a entry point, uh, entry cost there, so. Well, thank you. <laughs>